And with the spike in COVID-19 cases comes a spike in 911 calls. Officials in Weslaco saying in just nine days they've had 274 calls for help, and it is overwhelming. Some EMTs taking the some time to share with CBS4's Derek Garcia how their days have all changed. Some of the symptoms that we look for is going to be shortness of breath, uh, fever. Most of them are pretty, look pretty sick. The calls for help come around the clock. EMTs in Westlaco working long hours in an effort to save lives. So uh, roughly about, uh, about 50 calls per day. Lieutenant Efrain Bautista and the EMTs say that they have responded to 274 calls in just nine days. But transporting to hospitals is a hurry up and wait situation. And it's a little bit frustrating whenever you're trying to get in there and trying to get somebody help and uh, they're full of uh, patients already. The amount of time responding to non-emergency calls are precious minutes they can't get back and protective equipment they can't reuse. People need to be calling 911 when they're really sick. When they have fever and, and they have symptoms that they can uh, take care of at home, they need to stay home. But when they're feeling really sick, they have shortness of breath, they can't uh, get out of bed, the confusion, that's when they need to start calling 911. One of the concerns that we have is uh, do we have the right equipment for the right patient? After the call is making sure that we dis disinfect everything. As the calls for help go up, so does the possibility of an EMT getting sick or taking something home. I change in the garage so that there's uh, no uh, cross-contamination back into my house. So we, we make sure that we're, uh, we sanitize before we go home. With no signs of slowing down, EMTs urge you to stay home, to stay safe. In Westlaco, Derek Garcia, CBS4, Valley at 5.